hello and welcome to this series on jmeter beginner tutorial so this is the 15th session on this series and today we are going to look at how to set up realistic performance test in jmeter and we will look at pacing okay so uh, what is a real world performance test okay so as we have seen in our earlier uh, sessions we set up a thread group and we uh, create some number of virtual users and we start our performance testing but uh, that is not a actual performance test because in real world we will not be having a constant load every time on our application the number of users and the number of virtual users and load will be varying and also the actions that the user performs will be will have some delay between 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 the sessions right so uh, one of the thing is we have to think about is think time and think time is nothing but to simulate actual user actions with timings and delays okay and uh, this can be achieved by using some timers in jmeter and i will talk about it in a later session so this basically means that uh, a real world user will take some time in doing some actions or the random action actions that he will be performing there will be some delay between that and there are many other things like the sessions and other things that we have to take care which we will cover later but today we will be looking at pacing okay and what the pacing means is to control the number of virtual users the ramp up and the ramp down period controlling the time delay between two iterations so in basic words we can say how to achieve x number of iterations in y number of seconds or minutes this is what pacing is all about and if you go to uh, if you go if we uh, look at load runner they they have a setting called pacing okay and we can set up a pacing in load runner in these following ways one is start new iteration as soon as the previous iteration ends or start new iteration after the previous iteration ends with a fixed or some variable delay between two iterations and then we can set up at our own random intervals the the iteration the new iteration we can set up at some random interval in load runner but how to incorporate the same thing into jmeter so for that we have to add a plugin called stepping thread okay so if I go to Google and say stepping thread group I click this side jmeter plugins so we have stepping thread group which allows us to add threads with all these permutation combinations and with all these uh, menu items okay so how to get this stepping thread group okay so what we'll do is we'll go to our jmeter and we will go to options and we will go to plugins manager okay and if you do not see plugins manager in yours on your options screen then uh, you can go to my jmeter beginner tutorial 12 which is how to use plugin manager okay this one and here you can find out exactly how do we you configure and use plugin manager into jmeter so after that you will get a uh, option of plugin manager you can click here and here in the available plugins you can search for this particular plugin and you should be getting this you should be getting jpgc standard set you should be getting this plugin as of now i already have it so i am getting this in my installed plugins but for you you will go to available plugins and search for this and uh, install it okay and if you face any issues you can watch this particular tutorial and get this running okay so once we have this plugin installed you can go to your test plan and now go to threads and instead of adding a thread group we are going to add a stepping thread group okay so this is the stepping thread group that we have added uh, let me add a sampler so I am adding a HTTP request 
and for that let us add some web page okay let us add this particular web page so this is the domain I will add and this is the page we need to test let us add some listeners I am adding uh, results in tree, results in tree table and let me also add uh, aggregate report so we have three listeners now a HTTP request and this is the stepping thread group okay now let us see what all options do we have it says this group will start 100 threads okay so this means this is the maximum thread count that will be used for this particular test then we have an option first wait for so if you want to have uh, some idle time for the application you can say the number of seconds for which the application should wait before starting the virtual users and you can see as soon as you make any changes here you will see the graph will be getting changed here and I will explain this in a moment then start how many threads so I am saying then start 10 threads and then add 10 threads every uh, 10 seconds okay and use ramp up period as uh, let's say 0 seconds or okay let us say 0 seconds okay and then hold for how many seconds let's say hold for 60 seconds which is 1 minute and finally stop 10 threads every 10 seconds okay now what we have done is we said that this particular test plan will have 100 threads and you can see in this graph the x-axis is the elapsed time and the y-axis is number of active threads okay and the max threads is 100 because we have set up 100 threads here okay then we are saying first wait for 10 seconds so you can see the first 10 seconds the application is not doing anything it is just idle okay then start 10 threads so it is it has started with 10 threads after 10 seconds here and add 10 threads every 10 seconds so you can see every 10 seconds 10 threads are added okay you can see this graph going up 10 threads are added every 10 seconds okay now what is this ramp up period so we are saying that add 10 threads every 10 seconds but the addition is instant right it is not waiting for some time to add those threads if we say here 10 now you can see this graph has tilted a little bit so what is happening the 10 threads are being added are not added at an instant but they are added one thread per second and that's why we have used ramp up period of 10 seconds right if I decrease it you can see the graph now 10 threads are added uh, in 5 seconds so every second 2 threads are added but as of now let me make it at 0 ok uh, then we are saying hold for 60 seconds so what it is doing is once all the threads are added which is 100 users it is waiting for 60 seconds so for 60 seconds our application is running at a maximum load of 100 virtual users and after 60 seconds we are saying stop 10 threads every 10 seconds so again the ramp down of the threads is also controlled and we are saying that it should not be a instant ramp down of the virtual users but every 10 seconds 10 users should be going away from our application okay now let if I make it as 0 okay so you can see the steep curve after one minute all the threads are stopped instantly okay but we do not want this we want it should to close gracefully and therefore we are using this settings okay and now this is kind of a realistic performance test because now we have uh, we have controlled the iterations and we also have some uh, delay between the iterations and now if we start our test we will save it so you can see here okay for first 10 seconds no active threads are there okay and after 10 seconds we are getting 10 threads and every 
uh, 10 seconds we will have 10 users added now see it became 20 when it will reach 30 seconds it will become 30 users see how the load is increasing and we can see this aggregate report as well okay so every 10 seconds we are adding 10 users and uh, if you go to load runner menu this is what we have achieved right we can control all the settings now in jmeter as well okay so this is how you can see the threads are increasing and we are getting a realistic performance test so th uh, this is how we can set up pacing in jmeter hope you like it thank you